Hello, this is Brian Johnson with NetMarketingCourse.net and today I want to talk about the, uh, the next version, uh, the next uh, level of WordPress plugins and those are called widgets. Now, widgets first became available uh, I think about maybe two years ago or a year and a half ago. Now, I for one really haven't used widgets a whole bunch. I kind of hopped on the widget bandwagon when I started optimizing and creating my own theme for people to use and <clears throat> my goal, pardon me, my goal was to create a theme that was incredibly uh, optimized for on-page SEO. I wanted to address the Google duplicate content issue. I wanted to make the themes as light as possible and I wanted people to be able to configure those themes uh, in any way they wanted to. So what I did is I looked at widgets and so what exactly are widgets? What are the difference uh, between plugins and widgets? Well, a widget primarily resides in the sidebar and it, it, it gives you, you, the user, the, the webmaster, the ability to decide what kind of elements they want in their sidebar. Now, some of you that are not uh, using WordPress, you might be saying, well, the sidebar. Well, really, the sidebar is uh, the navigational elements of the page, uh, kind of things like subscribe to my RS, RSS feed might be in your in sidebar. Uh, recent uh, updates to the site might be in the uh, sidebar. Uh, you could have a, a calendar in the sidebar, search functionality in the sidebar, recent comments from other people in the sidebar, and so on. Now, what's neat is when you download WordPress, it already comes installed with about 15 to 20 of the most common uses, uh, co pardon me, the most common, commonly used widgets. However, when you go ahead and, and uh, I'm searching right now for uh, WordPress widgets and the amount of widgets that are available today are just staggering. It really gives you a lot of control over what you place in your sidebar. Now I do want to say that when we talk a bit about widgets, it's important, especially if you're trying to uh, create a website where you're going to try to tap into some traffic and make money, it's important to have an end goal in sight. And if you want to learn more about that, search for one, one of my videos on my site or else on YouTube. And that's uh, the video was called uh, The Core Elements of Your Site and What's Needed. And really that, that video talks about how people can get a little uh, widget happy or plug in happy with WordPress just because it is so easy and so flexible and so customizable, but they, they end up adding just far too many elements. So widgets are great and they give you a lot of opportunity to do specific things but you know you don't want to go overboard you want to understand what you're trying to accomplish how you're gonna uh, accomplish it and what you need to facilitate that so widgets pretty cool uh, the the themes that I've created are, are widget ready so you can go ahead and uh, use widgets to your hearts con content and uh, that's it so check out the widgets and uh, powerful stuff for WordPress your WordPress CMS. It's just not for blogs, people. Take care.